So we're going to go ahead and create our budgets. At this point, you've already created your clients. So let's go ahead and create budgets for them by going to My Company Client List. At this point, go ahead and click on the client that you would like to go ahead and create a budget for. We're going to click on Engagements. Based on your industry, your terminology could be different. Mine says engagements, yours can say tasks, to-dos, budgets. It really depends on your industry selection in big time. We're going to click the down arrow here to see our options on the engagement screen. We can create a single occurrence, budget, or engagement, or we can create a recurring one, but we'll include that link uh, to a different video. We're going to click Add Engagement. We're going to give our budget a name. We're going to select a type. And a type will allow you to go ahead and create a status code for your phases. So we're going to click Not Started here. This is not required. At this point, you can go ahead and assign specific staff members to the phase, but you don't have to assign it to everyone if you want it to be available to anybody. You can also go ahead and select a due date in which this phase is expected to be completed. From here, on the multifunctional dropdown, you have the option to just simply create the engagements. Add a new will allow you to go ahead and create another one um, right as soon as you create this one. Add and copy will go ahead and create the engagements and, and show up a form that will copy over everything you've entered. So you can simply change a minor detail. And Add and Open will allow us to go ahead and create the engagement and as well as put in our budget information. So let's go ahead and click Add and Open. When we're taken to the details of the budget, on General Info, you'll see all the details that we've selected in the creation of the engagement. You can put in notes for the engagement here, as well as create custom fields to the engagement. We'll also create a link for that video to go over that as well. Let's go ahead and create our budgets. Here you can put in the hours budgeted for your phase, the fees to the budget. So this would be the fees to the phase itself, and then these would be the expenses that I am expecting for this phase. As you start creating more and more of these, it will accumulate to the total budget of the entire project. So if I create another engagement, you'll notice at the bottom here that it is accumulating the total for the total project. Um, so we do have this neat overall totals bar here. If you start to select more than one phase, you have a bulk actions menu up here activated for you and the little arrow will allow you to go ahead and if you need to reassign a budget or phase or if you need to update the status or mark it completed you can do it from here and of course you can go ahead and switch your views this is the basic engagement information so this will show you your estimated hours and charges your due date your status and who is assigned to the engagement you can take a look at engagements billings to date. We'll show you the estimated hours and charges. Charges being the estimated fees and the expenses all in one. And any billings to date that are billed to that phase. Engagement notes will show you the engagement name, the due date, the status, and the notes that you included on the phase. And there you have how you create your budgets.